name is Dr. Kirod Chandra Panda and I am an audiologist by profession. I was awarded with the National Award in the year 2009 for training to empowerment of persons with disabilities. Later, in 2016, I was awarded with the State Award relating to empowerment of persons with disabilities. Good afternoon friends, make mask a way of your life. Today, I have been talking about a very different kind of mask that is relevant fighting against COVID-19 viruses in contemporary times. The conventional masks that are in use are made of polypropylene, which is a derivative of plastic and research shows that COVID-19 viruses can last up to 72 hours on a plastic surface. Therefore, Conventional masks have got limited advantages except that it protects the wearer from certain pollution particles and from aerosols expelled from an infected person while talking, sneezing, coughing and breathing. You all are aware about copper metal. Copper metal kills viruses and contact. Copper is represented by the symbol Cu on a periodic table for elements. Bill Kiewit is a pioneer microbiologist who has been investigating the properties of copper since long and he explains that copper ions are electrically charged molecules kill dangerous viruses by destroying their genetic materials. They do so by interacting with oxygen and changing the oxygen molecules present in the atmosphere. So further, there is no mutation or replication possible. Secondly, copper ions are able to punch holes in the cell's membrane, enter into the cell to destroy the genetic materials. Therefore, as long as copper is there, it is working 24-7 without any intervention, without any need to intervene, it never runs out and it is good to go. The Egyptian medical text written between 2600 BC to 2200 BC describes the application of copper to sterilize chest tubes and drink water. Egyptians used to use copper metal for the treatment of certain medical conditions like burns, ear infections, headaches and intestinal wounds. Later, Greeks and Romans started using copper the treatment of tuberculosis infections, eczema, chronic adenitis, facial neuralgia, chorea, Parkinsonism, and so on and so forth. Therefore, it has long been proven that copper material, copper metal, has got antimicrobial effects. There are various studies to corroborate findings. One of the major studies was that by KCAL. Number 
Yeah. 